when Cyberpunk 2027 comes up, 2077, and obviously Tomb Raider comes up a lot because Tomb Raider is really interesting. It's got, you know, cross-platform. If you try and play Tomb Raider on a Mac, which you can, it's just atrocious. Yeah, I mean, Mac's sort of getting left behind now, aren't they, with all this? It's like they're trying their hardest to put stuff... Here we go, look. They're trying to, their hardest to put, to go with games on Macs, but they're just, just not cutting it. And I mean, they're trying all these different things to get developers to switch over and do games on Macs, but it's just not happening. Uh, Linux has left the door open for everybody. So if you're a games publisher, you'd obviously make it Proton compatible, wouldn't you? So the Linux guys get all the, you know, will get all the games on Mac. You know, it's still not, um, still not really there for games. I mean, I've sort of left my Mac behind. I only use it now. Every now and again, I switch completely to Amarchi, which is like a um, whole new thing. Right, okay, so graphics on this, we'll just go with that setup. I've got no frame gen on. I've got ultra lighting. Everything's on hard. Video is set to uh, 256 by 0.4p. Let's run the benchmark. And then we'll install the app, change the kernel. I've only spent about two hours playing this. I've benchmarked it so many times, but it's like the ultimate benchmark game but I haven't actually played it that much. It's been, been spending way too much time on Borderlands 4. I don't know why I've always liked the Borderlands ones. Now, the frame counter comes up, we've got 48, 47 frames per second. 